Good morning, everyone. I just want to begin my comments by saying Happy St. Joseph's Day. Uh, it's a solemnity in the church, a high feast day. It's one where we celebrate Joseph, the faithful husband of Mary, the foster father of Jesus, uh, the patron of the universal church. Uh, he has so many titles, so many people that turn to him in prayer uh, because he is such a great saint. He was the just man that was mentioned in the Old Testament who would have custodianship of his Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Joseph is a patron of workers. Uh, he spent his life in the carpenter shop in Nazareth providing for the Holy Family. And he is certainly someone who we remember also at the end of our life. He is the patron of a happy death because tradition tells us he died in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Uh, what a beautiful story. And so uh, we wish you all a happy St. Joseph's Day. I encourage you uh, to really cultivate a, a devotion to Joseph. He is someone who inspires us to live a godly life. Uh, that is what Joseph communicates to us. Uh, by loving Jesus, by caring and being devoted to Mary, uh, we will surely follow the way of the gospel. So uh, that's the lesson of Joseph. And I'd like to use this day to kick off our Lenten food drive. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of food pantries in the area that turn to us and depend on us. There is a resource, um, Pauling Resource Center that we give food to them uh, down in Yorktown, Katona, all throughout this area over in Peekskill. Uh, it is a place, or, or we are helpful to all these places that help those in need. And so I would ask all of you uh, two non-perishable food items to bring to your homeroom. We're going to start collecting them tomorrow. So I ask all of our homeroom teachers to set up a collection area for that. Uh, because when we give of what we have, uh, we are giving uh, to those who are in need. And that's what the gospel calls us to do. So let's get that food drive going and let's care for the less fortunate of our se from ourselves. God bless you and have a great week. Good morning, sorry about that. Today is Monday, March 20th, F Day. I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Carly Gilmore. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. <laughs> Thanks. There will be a meeting of the girls varsity volleyball team on Wednesday, March 22nd during homeroom in the library. Please check to see what community service opportunities are available on our website. Deadlines for some opportunities are approaching, so it is important that everyone keeps an eye on the list as it continues to be updated. Enrolled in local news, today is the first day of spring, or vernal equinox, in the northern hemisphere. It's only one of two days, the other the autumnal equinox, where the Earth's axis isn't tilted away or towards the sun. That means that an almost equal amount of sunshine and darkness for everywhere around the world today. As for spring-like temperatures, the Climate Prediction Center says that most of the United States will see above average temperatures through June. The only exception will be the Northern Plains, the Northern Rockies, and the West Coast states, which should be aver average. The Sweet 16 and the NCAA basketball tournament is set after a Sunday filled with close games and two huge upsets. Number 7 seed South Carolina bounced number 2 seed Duke, and another number 2 Louisville was taken down by Michigan. The Sweet 16 begins on Thursday. The East Regional features Wisconsin, Florida, Baylor, and South Carolina. In the Midwest, it's Kansas, Purdue, Oregon, and Michigan. Southern Regional teams are North Carolina, Butler, UCLA, and Kentucky. While at the Rest Regional, Gonzaga, West Virginia, Xavier, and Arizona will play. And I know there were really crazy upsets with Villanova. Villanova. <laughs> that was a big one. Breaking brackets. <laughs> Firefighters have made progress in battling a wildfire that forced people to flee hundreds of homes in the mountains just outside downtown Boulder, Colorado. Authorities believe the blaze may have been human cause. The fire started in an area often used by transients for camping. No structures have been burned, and fire crews... Uh, hope to have full containment and possibly mop up fees by the end of the day. All right, well, I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Carly Gilmore. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, have a, a great, great day. day.